Hi everyone, welcome to Study IQ. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the current affair of April 2021 for the state of Assam. Myself, Ravneet Kaur. The pattern of discussion will be MCQ based, and the important current events of April month will be discussed in the MCQ pattern. So let's start with the video. The first question is about the autonomous state which has been allotted for certain tribal areas of Assam. So which of the following constitutional article permitted for the creation of autonomous state in the tribal areas of Assam? If you have seen the previous lecture, then we have discussed in the March month that tribal area provision is available for the four states of country that are Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram. And Article 244A is the right answer because this article provides for the creation of autonomous state. Apart from that, Article 275 has also some provisions regarding the autonomous states in the tribal areas. If we talk about the schedule, then 6th schedule of Indian constitution specifically provided some provisions for the tribal areas of these four states which we have already discussed. You can also remember that autonomous state or autonomous development councils for these tribal areas are provided so that they can work very well for the development of the indigenous tribes of regions. Next question is very important. It is in the context of Bihu. Bihu is very famous in the Assam. So, which of the following Bihu is celebrated as the SMS New Year? Recently, the government has issued guidelines for the Bihu celebration. The correct answer is for the Bohag Bihu. Government has issued the guidelines and Bohag Bihu is celebrated as SMS New Year. Let's talk about other Bihu also. If we talk about the Kati Bihu, then it is celebrated in the month of October. It is basically much duller when we compare it with other two Bihu celebrated in the Assam. This Kati Bihu is particularly for the praying of good harvest because granaries are empty at that point of time. If we talk about the Mag Bihu, then it is celebrated in the month of January and it is the harvest festival and granaries are full at that point of time. So basically, Bihu is a festival of Assam which is celebrated three times in a three times in a year. One is Kati Bihu, which is also known as Kongli Bihu, observed in October. Second one is Mag Bihu, which is also known as Bhogli Bihu, and it is observed in the month of January. Third one is your Bohag Bihu, which is also known as the Rangli Bihu and celebrated in the month of April and also known as the SMS New Year. This Bohag Bihu is actually coincide with the Punjabi New Year named as Besakhi. So these all are some important points. You can also remember that on this occasion, on the occasion of Bohag Bihu, there are different foods which get prepared like Pitta is prepared which is a rice cake. Laras is prepared which is actually a traditional food made of rice and coconut. Apart from that, different drinks are consumed like Chuje, Nam, Lao, Apong. So different tribes, uh, different tribes celebrate this Assamese New Year which is named as Bohag Bihu. Next question is about the census. According to census 2011, Muslims constitute how many percentage of population of Assam? Total population of Assam as per census 2011 is 3.12 crore. The correct answer is 34.22 percentage is Muslim population in the state of Assam. Recently, Assam has got a body which will conduct the different Muslim census so that they can check the development among the indigenous Muslims of area. You can also remember some important facts in the context of census 2011 which is important for, from your exam point of view. The state with highest population density is Bihar. State with lowest population density is Arunachal Pradesh. Also, the union territory with least population is Lakshadweep. If we talk in terms of number, then state with highest population is Uttar Pradesh. With lowest population is Sikkim. 
Also, the state with highest sex ratio is Kerala, which is doing very well in terms of sex ratio. State with lowest sex ratio is Haryana, and in terms of child sex ratio, also the Haryana is in the lowest category. In the highest literacy rate, the state is Kerala. In the lowest literacy rate, the state is Bihar. Next question is about the Longai Reserved Forest. It has been seen in news again. So, in which of the following district of Assam this Longai Reserve Forest is located? Remember, we you will see some question in a repetitive format, which is for the revision purpose. So, this Longai Reserve Forest was in news because the Assam Forest Department has requested the Guwahati High Court to take action against the 320 hectares land of Assam, which is getting enclosed by the Mizoram. And this Longai Reserve Forest is located in the Kareem Guns. Also, you can remember some facts about the forest area of Assam. The recorded forest area of Assam is approximately 34.21% of its geographical area. According to the legal status, the reserved forest in this recorded forest is 66.58%, which has been provided protection by different legislation. An unclassed forest is rest of the 33.42% of total forest area of Assam. So, reserve forest is more than 65% in the state of Assam. Next question is, which of the following is the Assamese calendar? This is very simple question as we have already discussed about the Bhag Bihu, which is a new year celebration in the Assam. So, the new calendar is known as Bhag calendar. Also, at the launch of this Assamese new calendar, Bohag Bihu bird count has been launched. And Bohag Bihu is also known as Zat Bihu. On this occasion, traditional national holiday is celebrated in the Assam. And Assamese calendar is also known by the name of Bohag Bihu. If we talk about the finding of 2020 state of bird report, which has been launched on the occasion of Bahad Bihu, then it has been seen that approximately in India, 50% of species of birds has been decreased if we compare it with the 2000. Okay. The decline of this bird population is a concern, is a basically big concern because birds are very much important for a pollination point of view. Also, you can remember that in major cities, the population is particularly decreasing. If we talk about the metropolitan city specifically, then the population is the biggest, population has seen a biggest decline. And New Delhi has declared the sparrow as a national bird of Delhi so that it can be conserved. Next question is about the Indian Rhinoceros Vision 2020 project, which, which is also known as IRB 2020. This program has been recently ended. In which of the following year this program has been started? The correct answer is in 2005 it was started. What was the purpose of this project? This project was particularly for the translocation of rhinos. Indian Rhino Vision 2020 program was for the translocation of rhino from the Kaziranga National Park to different other areas like Pabitora Wildlife Sanctuary, Manas National Park. It was launched in 2005 and also remember this project was a joint initiative of Ministry of Forest, Government of Assam. World Wildlife Fund India and International Rhino Foundation. Apart from that, other organizations also participated in this event. The goal was to increase the number of rhino in Assam to 3,000 by properly translocating them into the safer area. And the vision was up to 2020. It has been now ended. Next question is, rhinos have been found in which of the following areas of Assam? This is important question. Answer is all of the above. It means it has been found in the Pobitora Wildlife Sanctuary, Rajiv Gandhi Orang National Park, Kaziranga National Park. Apart from that, it has been also been found in Manas National Park. 
It is available in all these national parks after the translocation of rhino in the, under the Indian Rhino Vision Project 2020. So now it has been found in the all four protected areas of state of Assam. If we talk more about the one horned rhino, then only the one horned rhino has been found in India and they are also known as Indian rhinoceros. It is the largest rhino species. Basically, there are five rhino mountain country where different species of rhinos are found, but in India, only one horned rhino is available. There is also a declaration which specify talk about the conservation of Asian rhino and the name of declaration is New Delhi Declaration for the Protection of Asian Rhino 2019. Next question is about the microplastics. Which of the following team recently removed the microplastics from the sea water and they used the technique of hollow fiber membrane? By using this technique, they removed the microplastics. The correct answer is IIT Guwahati. Microplastics are actually big threat to the environment and specifically to the oceanic biodiversity. IIT Guwahati team used the hollow fiber membrane Hollow fiber membrane are basically used extensively in the daily life application like we use it in the RO. Also it is used in the industrial water or waste water. In the juice processing also it, been, it has been used as a filter. By using this hollow fiber membrane, the anti Guwahati removed the big chunk of microplastic from the sea. Microplastics are basically smaller than even one-fifth of the inch. And it has been sometimes consumed by the oceanic organism or you can say marine animals. Next question is about the microplastics itself. What is the diameter of microplastics? These are very tiny plastic particles you can see here. It just looks like a sugar or salt even sometimes smaller than that. The diameter is up to 5 millimeter maximum. These are either manufactured because sometimes we use in the manufacturing of cosmetic or beauty product. Sometimes the big plastic material get break down and turn into the microplastics. Remember these are very shiny particles used in the toothpaste also. So the question can be framed like this. In which of the following uh, daily use object we found the microplastics. The option can be toothpaste. The option can be cosmetic product. The option can also be polyethylene. So all of them will be right. In all these products, we found the microplastics in one or the other form. Assam Health Department has asked the respective district authority to explore the possibilities of turning the near hospital location into the observation centers for the asymptomatic patients of COVID-19. So which of the following nearby spaces of hospitals are being seen to convert as an observation center? The correct answer is hotels. Rising cases of asymptomatic patients of COVID-19 has turned the situation down and due to which the Assam Department's Department has taken this move to convert the Hotels near hospitals as an observation center. Next question is about the Putula Nach. Which of the following state currently made some videos by using this traditional art form that is known as Putula Nach? Remember, it is the state of Assam which has made the videos for spreading the awareness regarding the COVID-19 and it used the Putula Nach for making such videos. Also, the videos were produced by doing collaboration with the UNICEF. Next question is about two famous terms. One is COVID Shatru which means enemy. Second is COVID Bhibarat which means confusion. These are seen in the news. These are associated with which of the following terms? The correct answer is these are famous art form videos which has been formed by the state of Assam by collaborating with the UNICEF to spread the awareness in the context of COVID-19. 
Also, you can remember that this Putula Nach has been used for formation of these videos. Next question is about the Putula Nach as it was in news because videos has been created by using this art form of Assam. So, which of the following is the incorrect option with reference to the Putula Nach? The first one is it is a normal shadow puppet form. Second is it is additionally called as Putula Bhavna. Bhavna has been particularly discussed in the March month current affair. It is a theatrical art form of Assam and I have discussed it in detail. Usually the Putula Nach is performed from the Ramayana and Mahabharata scenes. Third option is the dolls used in this Nach are made up of bamboo or the hollow wood. Fourth is none of the above. The incorrect option here is option number one. Why it is incorrect? Because the Putula Nach is not a shadow puppet form, but it is a string puppet theater of Assam. And it has been known by different names in some of the areas like it has been called as Kalei Gaon in the northern Assam, Parpeta, Nalbari in the western Assam, and in the Majuli area of Assam. Also, you can remember that the dolls, which are made up of bamboo, are approximately 1.5 meter tall. While performing this puppet dance form, different musical instruments are used like harmonium, kansi, a bell steel plate, which is beaten with the string. Recently, Murhen Yoga Mat has been developed by the young girls of Assam. Six young girls of Assam has developed this mat. Which of the following material has been used for the formation of these mats? You can see the mat in the figure. The correct answer is these mat are prepared from the water hyacinth. Water hyacinth are basically regarded as pest for the rivers or the pest for the lakes. Particularly, they grow in the lake. They are the algal blooms which do not, which basically affect the fishes mostly and deprive them, the, deprive them from the oxygen. And water hyacinth can be prevented from the, uh, prevented for harming the fishes and fishing communities by developing this map because water hyacinth will be used for this map growth, map development. Also, you can remember that the one other plus point is this Murhan Yoga mat is biodegradable and compostable. It will be soon introduced to the world market as a unique product. The intervention of developing these maps was basically sparked by the Northeast Center for Technology Application and Research. This Nectar Center is an autonomous body under the Department of Science and Technology. This center includes the entire women community from the Assam in a group named Simang. So Simang is basically a group under which whole women community will form this Murhen Yoga Mat from the water hyacinth. Next question is about the World Heritage Day which is observed in April. In which of the following date of April this World Heritage Day is observed? The correct answer is 18th April. This day highlights the importance of our monuments. The theme of this year was complex past and diverse futures. The International Council on Monuments and Sites established this day in 1982 and the UNESCO which recognized the World Heritage Site. UNESCO authorized the day in 1983. From India perspective, you can remember that 38 World Heritage Sites are nominated by the UNESCO. In 38, the 30 are under cultural category, cultural heritage site, 7 are natural heritage site and 1 is blended one. If we talk about the Assam, then remember, there is not a single site which is categorized in cultural category and blended category from the Assam. However, there are two sites from the state of Assam which are categorized under natural heritage site. These two sites are Kaziranga National Park and Manas National Park. Kaziranga National Park was notified as natural heritage site in 1985 
Similarly, the Manas was also notified as natural world heritage site in 1985. Next question is about Barak Valley. It was in news due to election. How many constituencies are present in the Barak Valley? The correct answer is there are 15 constituencies, 7 in Chachar, 5 in Karimganj and 3 in Halakandi district. You can see the district Chachar, Karimganj and Halakandi. Least constituencies are in Halakandi. Remember one more thing about the constituencies that we delimited, delimit the constituencies for election purpose. And also this delimitation of constituency has been done by the body named Delimitation Commission which is an independent body. If we talk about the article of Indian constitution which provide this delimitation commission that article is article 82. First delimitation exercise was conducted in 1950-51 and carried out by the president with the help of election commission. After that, this body delimitation commission has been set up and first delimitation commission was set up in 1952. So, these are some important points associated with the constituencies which are delimited time to time. Next question is about National Center for Seismology. Under which of the following ministry this center works? The correct answer is Ministry of Earth Science and this is important question because recently earthquake has been observed in Assam and 7 back to back earthquake has been seen from magnitude ranging from 3.2 to 6.4. Epicenter was seen at the depth of 17 km. If we talk more about the National Center for Seismology, then it monitored the past earthquake also in particular region. And approximately there are 105, 115, 115 stations placed all across the India of this National Center for Seismology. Next question is about Assamese short film. One of the Assamese short film got recognition or space in the New York festival. So what is the name of that Assamese short film? The correct answer is Zogun. You can mark the option right here. Option number one is the correct. Zogun has been find, Zogun has been recognized at the 21st New York Indian Film Festival which is important. Basically, the meaning of Zogun is vulture. It has been based on the Manoj Kumar Goswami journal. Next question is again important. Recently, the first female finance minister has been appointed in the state of Assam. So, what is the name of Assam first female finance minister? The correct answer is Ajanta Nyok. Next question is about earthquake zones. Assam comes under which of the following earthquake zone of India? Basically, there are four earthquake zones. Zone 2, 3, 4 and 5. Assam is located in zone 5. Zone 5 has the high vulnerability of earthquake. You can check out here. Zone 2 is the low risk zone and zone 5 in which the Assam is located. It is the very high risk zone. Also, you can remember one more point that IIT Guwahati recently decided to go for the microzonation of urban areas so that the impact of regular seismic activity in the state of Assam can be prevented. And also IIT Guwahati recommended that we have to develop the early warning system of earthquake like Japan. So this is it for today's lecture. If you have any query then you can contact on these numbers. Keep studying all the best. Thank you very much.